and we're back. I was just arguing with Dan, but never mind me. We've, <laughs> we've got uh, Diane Pankow here, a good friend of mine from Twin Lakes Playhouse. And welcome, Diane. She's here to talk about an upcoming, uh, her directorial debut with Twin Lakes Playhouse. Yes, thank you for having me. Hi, Diane. Hi. Well, nice to meet you. Coming, nice to Diane. meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. We're very excited about it. The play is called The Foreigner. And I can't tell you very much about it, or it gives too much of it away. But a man, a British gentleman, comes to a remote fishing village in Georgia. And he's having a rough time at home and just is not up to speaking to people. So his friend tells everyone that he can't speak English, that he's from a very <laughs> exotic foreign country, and he can't speak English. But he so knows leave English, him right? Oh, absolutely. And he gets to hear it all, I would assume. <laughs> he hears way more than he wants to okay. hear. And then he feels kind of compelled to, to help out a little bit. Mm -hmm. To help so, out. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a comedy, oh, very much a comedy. Great. It was written by Larry Shu, who also wrote The Nerd, which Twin Lakes Playhouse oh, okay. did several years so ago. So how old is this play? When was it written? Uh, in the 80s, early okay. 80s, I think. Is so it's not an old play. Not it's, really old, it, okay. no. Okay. But it's interesting in that we have to take ourselves back to the 80s. And at one point, um, there needs to be a phone call, and the phone's not available. And it's like, here's your cell phone. Oh, and yeah. They didn't no cell have 80s. cell phones in the 80s. Do you try to Georgia. establish that in the beginning, that it's yes. in the 80s? Okay. Yes, we do. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's always and, fun. And yes. It's fun to watch old movies that are before the, the smartphone. Yes. Because, you know, people have to look for a pay phone and then they don't have any money yes. and you know yeah. it's funny and even those of us who were in the, who lived in the 80s have totally forgotten mm -hmm. where we're, we're sure. still yeah. um your first thought is grab your cell phone yeah and how did we get by without one right we did though <laughs> we did that was the miracle we did so how big is the cast of this play <laughs> it's a cast of seven uh, some of them are well known to community theater goers. Uh, Charlie, who's the main character, the foreigner, is played by Michael Rich, who was the father and father of the bride um, two Recent plays ago. Mm -hmm. And Mike Horberg, who um, has been in many, many shows, yes. is, uh, um, is a character whose name is Owen Musser. Um, we also have Mike Johnson, who has not been in a show in a while, but he is a... a, a big part of, play, of mm -hmm. the Playhouse. Mm -hmm. He constructs sets and does sound and does a little bit of everything. Um, Andy Ellington Davis, who was, I know she was in Dearly Departed, mm -hmm. is Betty Meeks, who owns the fishing resort, and she is a true rural southern Georgia lady. Oh, have fun. <laughs> and Olivia Wolf um, plays a young lady in it, and she's well known to the she's Playhouse very also. Well known, yes. uh, wonderful musician as, as well as an actress. And then we have a very talented young high school boy named Caden Sabella, who is playing the young boy in, in the play. And uh, he's quite, quite good. He was in Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe not too long ago at the high school. Yes, and he's been and, in a couple of recent productions. Uh, he was Playhouse. in Father of the Bride, yes. 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 And uh, last but not least, Bill Simpson who is president of the Playhouse, is um, Froggy Lesseur. He is Charlie's best friend. Oh my, so. sounds like a cast of characters, doesn't it? <laughs> so, it sounds like a good play to go to see. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Uh, you've been here for a year? Just to, almost exactly. Yeah, yes. and, and so you've, you've, you've had uh, a, a life in, in acting or directing before. You want to tell us a little bit yes. about that? Well, in the uh, 80s and 90s, we lived in Houston, and our whole family was involved in Playhouse 1960 down oh, there, okay. uh -huh. which it started when our oldest son decided he wanted to be in theater. And we wound up um, all the whole family doing something, oh, well, and uh, yeah. directed a, uh, directed several shows there, including mm -hmm. the including Foreigner. This mm -hmm. one, right? Mm -hmm. And so I fell in love with the Foreigner, and um, then some children's shows also, Charlotte's Web and um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So, so have you been on stage too? A few times. Yeah, a but few you times. do you prefer? Not to be on stage? Or? Oh, no. Everyone <laughs> prefers to be on stage. <laughs> okay. Yes, All right. of All course. Right. Why, Dan, yes. do you oh, not I... want to be on stage? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. My favorite, I was Madame Arcadi in Blythe Spirit, which was the favorite role that I've I've ever done. A role yeah. that I've also played. That's yes, right. Yes, that's right. How funny. 
How about that? But not at the same time. <laughs> no, not at the same time. That would have been awkward, wouldn't it? Yes, it would have. So when is the Foreigner uh, opening? It opens November 15th, a week from Friday, and it runs through December 1st. And this, I think, is a little new. We're doing... Um, Val uh, not Valentine's, oh my gosh, Thanksgiving weekend. So we're hoping that oh, people okay. will be tired mm -hmm. of eating turkey and ready for a little break. And yes. new this season is a Saturday matinee on the final weekend. So oh, okay. we've always done Friday and Saturdays at 7 mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Sunday at 2. But on that final weekend, Thanksgiving weekend, we will have a Saturday 2 o'clock performance. I think oh, that's great. Nice. People yeah. can bring their family. So that's mm -hmm. in yeah. from out of town and bring them on over to the playhouse for a little, you know, when they're tired of turkey and football and all of that. It'll give the actors a little right. more time for memorizing their lines. <laughs> <laughs> Just one more time. Just, Is that what you want? Just right. one more Just time. Just one more time. Yes. <laughs> You're one never ready time. for that final one show. More time. <laughs> and how do people get tickets? They can go to the website, twinlakesplayhouse.org, or they can call 870 424-0444. I'm so right. excited about this. This is going to be so fun. It sounds fun. And I'm excited for you oh, well, to have you, you at the you. Playhouse. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks so much for being here. And welcome to the area. Thank and, you very uh, much. Hopefully we can go out and get, out, get out and see the play. I hope so, too. Thanks, Diane. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, we have Jennifer Baker and Sherry Alexander, and we're going to be talking about the Operation Christmas Child. And they brought their boxes, so we'll... Lots of boxes. Yeah, we'll find out all about that. Stay with us. You're watching 726 this week.